Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Neek was so nice. If this is your first time tuning in, thanks again for joining me and welcome. Now, if you could do a small favor, hit that like button, share, and subscribe. I will really appreciate it. But other than that, thanks for joining me this morning. It is Saturday, November the 19th, around 9.22 a.m. I intended to rest in a little longer, but I'm like, you know what, I'm up. Let me just go ahead and put out a video video, excuse me, for you guys. I'm chilling on today. Got my head wrapped in one of my go-to wraps. I just took my style down last night. Um, just wanted to switch it up and I was having a little tension like in the crown part of my head. So I'm like, well, let me just take it down. I can just do it in something else cute a little later. Um, again, like I said, I'm just chilling. I may go out within the next hour to handle a few errands. Um, I do have on a few pieces that I got from Shein a while ago. Let's see, I can take it out. Cute. Little gold earring. And this is a bracelet that belongs to my mama. <laughs> belongs to my mom. She got it from Avon some time ago, so I'm just wearing that and just have my little head wrapped up. So, yeah, but this morning, this video just is basically, um, I could say a medium mini Dollar Tree haul. I came up with some ideas for Christmas to decorate my living room area. My living room is small. Again, like I said in one of my other videos, if you haven't caught it, I do live in a older manufactured home, a 1997. I believe it was built by Horton. Um, and it's about 1,062 square feet. But I do the best to make the most of my space and I have it in the colors yellow and teal with a gray couch cover but it's super cute I'll show it to you in time so I wanted to still keep with that color scheme because that's what I did last year for Christmas I had a green Christmas tree and some pretty blue lights in it and also some blue decorations like light blue like let me see yeah I did say teal so like teal blue um, but I was given another tree and it's beautiful. It's a seven and a half footer. Excuse me if I'm switching from, you know, moving around. I'm resting my leg on my stool. Uh, it's a seven foot tree, seven and a half foot tree. And it is gold. It is beautiful. It's pre-lit. I'm like, I don't know. I thought it was just seven feet when my friend told me about it. But I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to put this gigantic tree in here. But I'm going to make it work because it is pretty and I definitely have some ideas, you know, for decorating. So this morning, like I said, it's a mini medium <laughs> Dollar Tree haul of some decor or some things, you know, flowers and stuff like that that I'm going to use for a project that I will also be uploading uh, maybe I'll say in the first week of December because I don't want to decorate too early. I just would like to, you know, ease my way into it. But first thing I have is some gold uh, gift wrap. Excuse me, my brain is still <laughs> processing. Being I'm up kind of early, but I have some beautiful. It's almost like a matte colored, uh, yeah, metallic. <laughs> not embarrass myself <laughs> like a metallic gold gift wrap that I'm going to use on a project so you stay tuned for that as well and I picked up some of these adhesive diamond wrap maybe backwards but yeah it's a pretty blue color I got four packs of that so that's also going to be for the project that I have coming up four packs of that it's a very pretty color I may not even end up using all of it and of course for you guys that there are guys and girls that like to craft if you don't use it on one thing you'll use it on something else so that's you know in the case what I end up doing I picked up these cute acorn what it calls holly bouquet so it has like gold hollies in them and a little glitter I don't know if you can see it little glitter on them. I have two of those and I have a small eucalyptus what do you call a garland over the door 
So what my intention is, is to probably pop one in each side and kind of spread it out. Or I may take it off the vine with some nippers and kind of twine it in there. Just depends, you know. I may just do it like the first way I said, just slide it in on each side. Because it's pretty secure up over the door. And then repurpose it again, Lord willing, for next year. Uh... I went, I had two Dollar Tree trips because I went the second time to pick up some gift cards. Little cute, small, not gift cards, um, invitation type thank you cards. Yeah, that's what they were. And again, forgive me, my brain is running like a thousand miles per minute, thinking all over the place. But they were little cards, small little cards that I can send out. Hey, just thinking of you. Matter of fact, I'm going to grab one and I'm going to show you because I think it's super cute. So hold on. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So they're by Hallmark Expressions, and I got them from Dollar Tree. They are a pack of six. So I sent out some Thanksgiving cards to a few people, but I'm like, okay, let me stay a little cost savvy. So I found these, and I think they're adorable. It's a typewriter. You can see. That's so cute. Old school typewriter has like a piece of paper coming out of it with a beautiful heart. And I'm just jot a few lines in here and just send them off to some folks, some clients for the holiday. I was like, okay, this is unique. I like unique things, so it's pretty cool. So I have that. Now back to the decor. Like I said, I made the second trip, pick out these little cards, and I was looking for some ketchup for a recipe and I did no I didn't get that from there I went to another store and got it but went in there saw a couple other things for my project and I saw these beautiful flowers these are like a say almost like a sky blue poinsettia and it has the dime the um I had a little glitter on the inside so I think these are beautiful and that's gonna go and a vase on my feature wall in the living room. Again, I will be showing that in the weeks to come, so stay tuned. I'm going to be replacing one sort of greenery with another. And I also found these, these frosted greenery is so cute. It has a little, I don't think you see it, a little glitter on it. I might have to adjust the camera. So it is very pretty just the lighting okay probably see a little a little sparkle on them but I bought two of those and I also saw some pretty eucalyptus and they call it frosted as well it has a little glitter on it and I just think it's so pretty I'm gonna use that as also two of each and I have another plain poinsettia because the theme in my lever room when I when I moved my thought was okay even before way before I moved I was like when I get a house I would like to do like a Caribbean tropical type theme and it's it's kind of not completely there but it's still cute it's very uh comfortable and natural like so you know you perhaps will be able to see what I'm what I was going for but I wanted to still keep with the same color scheme and so have it beautiful for the holiday but not too fussy so because like I said my living room is yellow teal and white um, with little hints of cream here and there so I found these beautiful white poinsettias they're very light and airy so I like those got two of them and I found it found it really found <laughs> this fern two fern and it has looks like snow on it and my apologies guys if the camera isn't picking up the glitter on it but it is really beautiful um, but yeah I bought two two fern and when I put them in the vase, I'm going to, I have some foam, some floral foam. I have to find it. It shouldn't be that far, but 
in the event that I can't, in the event that I have to go in that closet, because that's like a craft closet. That's a craft little bit catch-all closet. But if I got to go in there and it looks like, okay, you might get lost in there or trapped. I'm not going. I'm going to just go ahead and just buy another piece of it. But I am starting to learn, okay, just go ahead. Look for what you got to look for. And a lot of times it's not as packed away as I would think. Because, again, when I moved, I had a bit more closet space where I was. But still all good. But um, what I'm going to do with my vase, I'm going to stack the floral, floral, <laughs> tongue tied, floral foam. And put this in here so it can be kind of high in the back. And then kind of like stair step. The rest of the flowers in the vase so when it's done I believe it'll be beautiful I was thinking about getting another piece of greenery to kind of like cascade over the front but again I don't want it to be way too fussy so also on my other video I did show you my candles that I purchased a couple of years ago it's like a velvet I said suede but velvet suede whatever from Hobby Lobby the cam could pick it up and I was at the Dollar Tree and I saw these cute bows and I'm like okay you know what I'm gonna do I was skeptical at first because of course I don't have the candle with me but I was just trying to vision I wonder how that would look so right now what I'm doing I'm just unwinding one from the packaging and hopeful oh yep and it's fitting around it just nice. So I was hopeful that the twine would have been long enough. If not, you know, I would have done something to make it work. And in reality, I don't think the twine is really totally meant to be used for this. But some people may still use it in that way. That's what I'm using it for instead of having to glue things onto stuff. Because I am repurposing everything again. I may use it through the year um except you know for like the snowflake things um after the christmas holiday thanksgiving holiday that's pretty much really the only two holidays i really decorate a lot for but i believe going into the future i might try to incorporate a little bit more you know like in the yard i may put out some flags for the summertime or something like that but I, and I also am cautious of doing it because of the space. I'm looking to invest in getting a little shed outside to store some stuff. But bearing in mind the elements and things, but I'll work it out somehow. But here it is. I think it's so cute. I was trying to bring it up a little bit more, but I think it's just fine how it is. Ooh. Okay, don't break it, Shanika. Okay. So that's one. And I'm going to do the other one in a few minutes. But I think it's super cute. And if anyone has not thought of that, here, idea, go get you, you go to the Dollar Tree. I know every Dollar Tree is different, but I think these are so cute. It's by the brand Christmas House Season Goods, Seasonal Goods, they said ever since 1996. And it is a, a Dollar Tree name brand because, you know, Dollar Tree carries their own stuff too uh, from their name brand. But I think this is super cute. It turned out beautiful. I'm going to put it right back on my table. So, yep. Beautiful, beautiful. Couldn't, couldn't have done better. Okay. Um, I have... I purchased these pretty ornaments. I'm going to save the string and possibly put it on the tree next year, Lord willing. But they are like a... And forgive me if I'm not saying it correctly, an iridescent. So hopefully the camera is picking up on it. It may look silver on your side. Let me see if I can adjust the lighting. Okay. Yeah, still might. You, you can see a little bit of it. But it's like a beautiful, yeah, here it is. A beautiful iridescent color. And this is going to be a part of the project that I'm looking to do as well I bought one big one will go this will be in, in the middle and I found 
two smaller ones, which will be on the sides of the project that I'm doing. And I also found this beautiful, looks like an icicle, an actual snowflake. I'm trying not to let all the little stuff fly off of it because I don't want to destroy it beforehand. So I got to be careful with this. It's frosted. As you can see, it has little fuzzies on it. And this one is just clear. But I bought two to that also. And it's going to be really beautiful when I get done. So remember the blue wrap? So the project that I'm doing will include this metallic gold gift wrap. I was thinking it had something else on it. It will include the blue adhesive diamond wrap, my snowflakes, and some hot glue. <laughs> I also found these foam snowflake sheets. If I don't use this as a part of that project, I may just stick them in the window or something. But everybody, that is it to my haul. I thank you if you decided to hang in there with me. Um, what I'm going to do with my other snowflakes, the one that has the little fuzzies on them, I'm kind of wrap them up just so that too much of it doesn't shed off. Forgive me if I sound a little congested. I woke up feeling that way. Um, and give my box corner as some materials that I use um, with my work. But uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Had a beautiful week. Having a great weekend. Remember to be good to yourself. Do your best to be good to others. Um, of course, I don't know your faith, but if you do, uh, if you are a part of the body of Christ, continue fighting, continue thriving, praying, staying close to him, even in instances where you may fall short because Lord knows I do every day, all day, a few times a day. Um, but as you go on and as you stay close to him, like the words say, draw nigh to him and he'll draw nigh to you. Just continue to do that and know that you are worthy. Know that you're important. You're loved, even if you may not feel so. And just be good to yourself. Whatever it is that you might be dealing with, like the word of God also says, this too shall pass. And a friend of mine a while ago said, you know, the this too they compared it to any this too, whether it's this too being something good, this too being something bad. I take it as this too shall pass, especially if you are in a storm of some sort, personal life storm. So just keep thriving. Just keep doing well. Again, thank you for taking the time out with me. I hope you have a fantastic week and be blessed.